So what's going on guys? We are here at the first um, first legendary pal that you're gonna kind of run into. From my understanding of how difficult the legendaries are, I'm imagining that this one would be somewhat easier than the future ones that you'll run into. This is a great one to go for first and you want to get your hands on a legendary because they have the legendary trait on them the legend trait which gives you a huge bonus for your pokemon i'll show it to you right here it is attack 20 percent defense 20 percent movement speed 15 percent and obviously you're going to want that on all your pokemon that you're going to be using for combat for now we're going to focus on getting it so um if you don't know where this is on the map i'll show you the map as far back as i can zoom out um, it's going to be up way up in the top left, pretty much all the way in the very top left of the map. When I first caught this, I used this ledge right here. And I, what I would do is I, when I, the Pokemon would run up and get more aggressive, I would run back here into the corner. And if he got anywhere near me, I would drop down here. And what that does is that turns him around and it, his pathing turns all the way back around and he runs all the way back and does a big u-turn and you can literally just climb right back up if he you know gets close down there again and you rinse and repeat and the whole time you're doing that is you're throwing you're throwing your pokemon out um to damage him you throw your pokemon down there he does a bunch of damage you know if he gets hurt or he's about to get hit you pull him back and you want to re repeat and get better at that tactic throughout the fight until you get kind of into a rhythm. I caught him at 45. That was the level I was at. If you're trying to catch him any earlier than that, first of all, you're going to just need more Pokeballs. That's the main thing because everyone's capable of getting him. You know, obviously you're going to need some Pokemon to do damage, but everybody's capable of getting the Pokemon down with the strategy I'm showing you. Now, the other thing you can do before I get into the, the strategy that I used, the other thing you could do is you can build. What you would want to do for a bo like a boss fighting style of base, what I would do anyway is I would build foundations like this in a straight path like so. And then from there, I would build on it. I would build above it these wooden stairs right uh boom boom and because the foundation is underneath the stairs you could build these stairs as high as you want as long as they're above the foundation uh do you have any wood on you useless i think i should have do you have any wood i got 25 i need it thank you build a floor and then I don't know what method you're gonna to want to do this, but you want to build like some sort of wall or something. The side of the base like this um, to block his projectiles, right? You want to block his projectiles from being able to hit through the bottom of the platform. If he has any projectiles, he's shooting at you, right? So this will help give you that kind of like ease of mind that a projectile is not gonna pierce through like a little bit of the floor and do damage to you we don't have a ton of wood on us but if you had like a bunch of wood you could come back to this spot and you could build a really massive structure that will help you you know fight this boss more effectively can you pull out a fire pokemon useless please uh, i don't have one on me Okay, so I'm going to take this opportunity to say that if you're planning on doing this boss fight, either be prepared for the night to be more cold. Um, can you stop shooting me while I'm talking, please? Be prepared for the night to be more cold than the day. Um, so bring a thermal accessory. I did not bring one. I have one at the base. I don't know why I don't have one on me. Yeah, dude, we're fine. Everything's good. All right, okay, so this is how, why do you gotta make so much noise? Let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's cooking. So if you did 
make the mistake of coming here without enough things to keep you warm at night if in the night comes around what you're gonna want to do especially if you're in the middle of the boss fight um first of all get the aggro off of you i walked <laughs> away from the fireplace dude <sighs> obviously you could pull out a fire pokemon and then you would be kept warm this boss is weak to fire pokemon so you're gonna want to have fire pokemon on you i'm a high level so i think we'll be okay on the attacks that are fire you're gonna be hitting like almost double the damage that you would normally be hitting if you're trying to find the corner that i'm in by the way it's it's to the right so if you like when you arrive here it's on the right side of this frozen lake in the top right corner i'm gonna get started here uh where is he <laughs> oh there he is, <laughs> where is he? <laughs> i was just he's like there. i was like uh we're gonna get started he's just gone <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay him enough for All right. I grabbed aggro I think he's only aggro on me so if you have a friend that you're trying to level up um, that's a lower level you're gonna want him to shoot the boss later in the fight rather than right away so when he gets close to the cliff he will no longer be able to hit you with most of his moves because the cliff blocks a lot of that stuff. Now I am using like level 43, 47 Pokemon. So if you're around level 43, you clearly can do the damage. It's just going to take time. Yeah, this is perfect. He's literally doing like a bunch of circles. When I fought him the first time, he was do he was doing U-turns, so he was going like up, and then he would stop, and he would come back down. Um, but now he's just doing little circles. You can also put fire moves on Pokemon. So like, if I go to my party right now, I could swap out this for a fire move, even mid battle. That's crazy. Have any fire moves on him? I have no moves on anybody. We have one fire move. Can you just use the fire move already? Thank you. It hit for a hundred. Oh no. <laughs> That's like nothing. <laughs> he missed. Yeah, that, that fire move is not great. It doesn't hit very often. Honestly, this spot is... Oh shit, he's doing the U-turn. Oh my god. Useless. Oh god. I was about to say this is working too well. I jinxed it. Yeah, he's, he's kind of stuck right now. I've seen him come all the way over here before. Oh, he hit me. Like, he sometimes can make it all the way over here, but... Oh no, I lost aggro. His health is still down though. Damn, he teleported? I don't have that much range. There we go. Yeah, usually he's like over here. I don't know why he's so far away. Come on. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was chilly. <laughs> yeah, it looks like if you go back into that corner far enough, it just makes him run away. So if you need to heal your Pokemon, like if you need to get them back up, if they're all like low health. Mine are fine right now, but like if you did need to do that, you could just back up and he'll um he'll stop aggroing you. And I think it's based, it's most likely based on the spot he's standing when you start the aggro. So because he was all the way over there and I shot him, he probably runs away when you get a certain distance away from him, from that spot. I might walk away and let these guys heal. Yeah, yeah, we're going to wait a second because his, his boss health is not going to go down. Oh, I think the first time I fought him, I was shooting him the whole time. 
And that's probably why he was doing those U-turns. Like running up here. Uh. She just laid her head on my hand. Look at my stream. <laughs> the most adorable thing you've ever fucking seen. He's like, oh, dad. So cute. Hit him. Oh my god, that always scares me. The frost breath that just comes up. Oh, oh, she's in the gr she's in the ground. That's why I was like, what is happening? I wasted my throw. Damn. I can shoot her wing. Okay, new method of killing the boss. Pickaxe the wing. Just get pickaxe. over here. Get over here and start smacking. One. <laughs> we have 6,000 more swings to go, bro. Five years. Like, what, two swings would be here for him? Maybe, do you have a sword or something? No, we're doing this. <laughs> Instead of killing the boss. Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a guide. <laughs> so <laughs> just glitch the boss into a rock, right? And then you wanna hit the wing that's sticking out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She got mad. She got mad. It turned me to a nice bone. I mean, we're getting there, so we'll be here for, you know, like an hour. No big deal. Here we go. All right. Why did I not think of this? I that that didn't hit. That hit for nine. Are you kidding me? Nine. Oh, I'm down. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I'm fully dead. I guess I'll come back and uh, not use the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it shot me through the ground. Did he kill you? I'm still crawling, but I'm not dead. I have 90 oh, seconds. Oh, he's going to reset his health. <sighs> Are you alive? 24 seconds left. Okay. I'm on my way, man. Got 10 seconds. Yeah, Seven. I'm doing my best. Six. I'm coming over the mountain. Uh, okay, cool. I kept his health low. I made it in time for that. <laughs> Good. Shoot fire into him. I don't have the mount for this guy. I guess I'll try my electric type thing. Oh, this hits. Okay, okay. I found something that hits him. Sand Tornado? Sand Tornado does not. Oh no, I'm freezing! Bro, we're in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring out Fire Boy. Temporarily. Why can't I put a fireplace here? Wait, what the... Oh, you can't put a fireplace close to a special boss. Oh, so that corner I found really is OP. Because, like, you can build over there. I guess I'm punching the boss then. Did you? Do you have any fire Pokemon you can mount? Uh, I... Back in the base. I do have one. A fox flamethrower right now would be huge. Dude, we're adaptable gamers, okay? You see, like, some people would be like, oh, this, I'll just come back and reset. No. He can hide <laughs> inside this rock all he wants, 
I'm still gonna yeah, catch yeah. his ass, okay? <laughs> I, I might be able to be the, one of the first ones to say I beat Frostallion with my fists. So that, that could be this title of the video, like... Did he? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Back to the old old fighting method. I'm out of food. Useless, you gotta drop me food. No. You're a popsicle. <laughs> yeah, I'm a popsicle. Okay, I really gotta pay attention here. Pull back my Pokemon when they get hit. I gotta pull them back. Useless, I choose you. <laughs> I throw <What>? you. <laughs> I was looking at me. It's <laughs> looking at you. Oh god, oh god. Oh, almost fucking. I tried to crouch and I flung off it. happens at me staring up here. He's pissed. <laughs> He's like, get down there. Oh, what the f Okay. Whew. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm going for the catch. 5%. And I only have 30 balls. <gasps> no way. Please. Yo! No way. Let's go! It was all yeah. worth it in the end. That's what you're gonna be getting yourself into when you come to these legend- or legendary. Pokemon fights, they're gonna be long, unless you're like, end game. Just stay calm, collected. Show the montage of me not being calm and collected the whole time. <laughs> we died! <laughs>